classroom. Hi everyone. Welcome to the classroom. Come on in. I was just about to do some experimenting with this, our wind tunnel. I have some colorful leaves made out of fabric that we can put inside. There's a red one, a blue one. Let's put them all inside. We'll turn it on and see what happens. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh! Look at them go! When the wind tunnel is on, wind blows through the tunnel, making it really windy inside. The leaves are really pretty blowing in the wind. Let's make the wind stop. Three, two, one. Whoosh. When the wind stopped, the leaves stopped moving too. I have lots of fun things we can try in our wind tunnel today. But first, let's wave a big hello to all of our friends. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. <laughs> Hooray! A big hello to all our friends in the classroom today. Let's see what else we have to experiment inside our wind tunnel. Ooh, we have some foam shapes, marbles, some styrofoam balls and ribbons. Ooh, I wonder what will happen to them in the wind tunnel. What should we try first? The foam shapes? Let's see. There's a yellow circle, a blue rectangle. Let's put them all inside. Lots of colors. Do you think they'll fly up and around the way the leaves did? Let's find out. We'll count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh. Oh, look at them go. Look at all the colors. There's yellow and purple and red. It's like a cyclone of colors. They're spinning like crazy. Can you spin like the foam shapes? Let's try. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Whee! I'm getting dizzy. Our foam shapes must be really dizzy. Let's stop the wind in three, two, one. Ooh, Ooh that was really pretty. The foam shapes are really light and spongy. They're really easy to fly around in the wind tunnel. What should we try next? The marbles. The marbles are a lot harder than the foam shapes, and they're heavier too. What do you think will happen? Carefully place them in there. Okay, let's count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh. Hmm, see that? They're just sitting on the bottom. The wind isn't moving the marbles at all. Hmm. Did you guess that this might happen? Well, let's try something else. Oh, they didn't move at all in the wind tunnel. Okay, we'll take them out. And let's try something else. The styrofoam balls. Well, these are a similar shape to the marbles they're a lot lighter. Let's put them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten styrofoam balls. 
We'll count to three and turn on the wind. One, two, three. Whoosh. Oh, these ones are moving a lot. Look at them go. So fast, you can hardly see them. What do you think would happen if we took the lid off the wind tunnel? Should we try it? I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens. Here I go. Oh! <laughs> oh no! They're flying out like popcorn! <laughs> you can see them flying around inside. Oh. Alright, let's keep them in the wind tunnel. Do you see them flying out? That's funny. Let's turn it off. Three, two, one. Whoa. Not as many styrofoam balls in there now. Now there's only six inside. Come back. We have one more thing to try in our wind tunnel. The ribbons. There's blue ones green ones and pink ones. Do you think they'll fly up? I hope so. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Whoosh. Oh, look at them go. Oh, they're spinning around, almost like they're dancing. Can we spin and dance like our ribbons? Ooh. I'm a ribbon in the wind tunnel. <laughs> oh, they're really pretty. Let's turn it off. Three, two, one. Ooh. Wow. It's a windy day inside the wind tunnel. Uh-oh. It's a windy day inside the classroom, too! Whoosh! Whoa! Oh, no! Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! That was a big gust of wind! It was blowing me this way and that way! <laughs> Did you feel that big gust of wind? Let's pretend to blow in the wind all together. We can blow this way, woo, and that way, and forwards, and backwards, whoosh. <laughs> that reminds me of a song called Over the Deep Blue Sea. Let's sing it together. Follow along with me. Here we go. Twas a windy day when I went to play down by aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me we're going this way that way forwards backwards up and down up and down over the deep blue sea <laughs> twas a sunny day when i went to play down by the sea i climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me we're going this way that way forwards backwards up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. <laughs> Twas a rainy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way. Forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Twas a snowy day when I went to play down by Aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going this way, that way Forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down Over the deep blue sea Twas a stormy day when I went to play down by the sea I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going this way, that way Forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down Over the deep blue sea we can try it a little faster. Here we go. Whew. We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over
over the deep to see. <laughs> Faster? Okay. We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep to see. Let's go really fast. We're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep to see. Whew. Whew. <laughs> I'll give yourselves a big clap, everybody. Nice job. That pirate ship was blowing all around. <laughs> oh, here comes another gust of wind in the classroom. Whoa! Oh no! Woo! Oh, whoa! I almost blew away. <laughs> Have you ever seen things moving in the wind? Maybe you've seen leaves or trees blowing in the wind? I have some leaves here. Let's see if we can make them blow away using this straw. When I blow in the straw, it makes a little gust of wind. I can feel it and we can see it when the leaves move. Let's count to three and you can blow with me like this. Ready? One, two, three. There they go, they all blew away. Let's see what else we can blow away with a little experiment. We'll push the big red button and something will appear in the window. And whatever we see, we'll try and make it blow away with our straw. We just need the big red button. Hmm. I'll take a quick look for it. I'll be right back. Maybe it's under here? Nope. Oh, a styrofoam ball. But where is the... Aha! Here it is, the big red button. Let's press it and see what's first in our experiment. What will it be? A car! Whoa! Do you think we can blow away a car? It's pretty heavy and big, but let's try. On the count of three, blow with me. One, two, three. Woo. I'm trying my hardest. Oh no, I don't think we can do it. Our wind isn't strong enough to blow the car away. <laughs> let's try something else. What will be next? A crayon. Hmm. Do you think we could blow a crayon away? Only one way to find out. Let's count to three. One, two, three. <gasps> we did it! It flew right off the desk. Whee! <laughs> that was fun. I wonder what will be next. A spoon. Hmm. Will a metal spoon blow in the wind? What do you think will happen with a metal spoon? Let's count to three. One, two, three. Whew. I can't get the metal spoon to blow away. Did you guess that might happen? Well, we tried. Let's see what's next. What will be next? Oh, wow, confetti. <laughs> confetti is lots of little pieces of paper. Look at all the colors. Oh, I think this one's gonna be fun. And it might get a little messy. Let's count to three. One, two, three. <gasps> Wow! Woo! It all blew away! <laughs> oh, the wind made a big mess. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. The wind is a really powerful thing. Did you know the wind can even be used to make electricity? 
It's true. Wind electricity is made by wind turbines. They're really tall and big windmills. Let's take a field trip to see a wind turbine up close and we can learn how wind is turned into electricity. Let's go. Wow, look at the wind turbines. My friend Brian, the engineer, can tell us all about how they work. Okay, Brian, so how do you turn the wind into electricity? Well, first, you need to build a big wind turbine like this building block set here. Oh, that's made out of building blocks? Yeah, yeah, isn't it cool? <laughs> yeah. So first, you have to build a big concrete foundation similar to the one in your home, and then you install all the tower sections. And once the tower is installed, you install the nacelle where the power generator and all the gears are located. And then finally, you use a big crane to lift the blades in place, and you have a wind turbine ready to make power from the wind. So the wind blows, and it turns those big blades? That's right, that's right. So once the wind blows, the blades start spinning, and it makes power for your homes. That's amazing. Well, Katie, welcome to the Niagara Region Wind Farm. Wow, there's a lot of wind turbines around here. Yeah, there's 77 in this project. They're so tall. How tall is a wind turbine? Well, these wind turbines are the tallest in North America, so they're over 174 meters tall. So if you would take 55 elephants and stack them on each other's backs, that's how tall these wind turbines are. Can you imagine 55 elephants on top of each other? That would be a sight to see for yeah. sure. Well, this is a sight to see. It's so big. It's moving up there, so does that mean that it's making electricity right now? That's right. When the wind blows and the turbine catches the wind, the blades spin and generate the power that is then delivered to your homes. How much power is one turbine making? So each wind turbine over the course of the year creates enough power for about a thousand homes. How does the energy that the wind turbine is making here, how does that get to our house and so that we could use it as electricity? We use cables called power lines to take the power generated from the wind turbine to your homes. These lines can go either underground or above ground on poles. Those power lines that we see along the highways and streets, those are carrying electricity to our house? That's right. Thank you so much for teaching us about wind turbines, Brian. You're very welcome. Wind turbines are amazing. They're so tall. I think it's pretty incredible that we can use wind to make electricity. Here in the classroom, we can use wind to make art, like these monsters. <laughs> I'll show you how. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are spoons, a container to hold paint, a straw, and a grown-up. To start, I have some different colors of paint here. And they're all mixed with a little bit of water to help thin it out. You can make your monster any color you like. Let's make an orange one here in the classroom. We'll spoon the paint into the middle of our paper. There we go. And we'll blow through the straw to make some wind and take a look at what happens. The wind blows the paint in all different directions, making a really interesting shape. Ooh, you can turn the paper to go from all different angles. Ooh, look at that. That's an interesting shape. That'll make a great monster. Now we have to wait for the paint to dry before we can decorate it, but I have one here that's already dry that we can decorate together. I have a marker, some googly eyes, and some mouths I made out of construction paper. And you can decorate your monster any way you like. Let's take a look. See how the monster feels, I think. Some eyes right here would be really great for our monster. What do you think? Yeah, let's add some eyes here. 
because this kind of looks like a nose, doesn't it? That's the neat thing about these shapes. You see all sorts of different things. There we go. Maybe we'll add a mouth. That's the nose. We'll add a mouth right here. <laughs> oh, he looks kind of silly. This looks like a funky hairdo. So maybe these will be his feet. We can add maybe some shoes. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> One on this side. These are so much fun to make. You can try making them at home. I'd love to see how your wind monsters turn out. Uh-oh, another big gust of wind. Whoosh, oh no, whoosh. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's a windy day in the classroom. I had a lot of fun. It's time for us to sing goodbye. So let's wave to all our friends and sing all together. Bye bye, goodbye. Thanks for playing with me. <laughs> oh no, here comes another big gust of wind. I'm blowing away. See you soon.